Hi and welcome to tutorial 34 in the series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language. And uh, if you're not on our email mailing list then please go to markplex.com and I would be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or release new programs. So this tutorial is really a follow-up to tutorial 32 and tutorial 32 was showing how you could apply daily moving averages to an intraday chart and in 32 we did we did that in two ways one was a program which essentially used data from the chart itself to create a daily moving average and the other was to apply insert into a chart a daily uh, data stream and then use that data to create a moving average now there is another way well there are undoubtedly several other ways but uh, the one we're going to be looking at in this tutorial is using ADE and ADE stands for all data everywhere and uh, this is a DLL that is uh, contributed by a uh, TradeStation uh, user it's not uh, a TradeStation supported DLL but it does enable you to do a number of things including passing data between charts and not only that uh, it can be used when backtesting if you're developing a strategy so it's extremely useful so the first thing to do if you've not done it already is to install EL collections or collections for easy language and all data everywhere uh, if you go to the TradeStation support forums and do a search on either of these you should find them and you can download the software and install it which is uh, really not too difficult to do and um, there is somebody did contribute something which supposedly made it easier to install I didn't have a huge amount of success with that so you might just want to follow the individual instructions to first of all install EL collections followed by ADE and when you've got those installed then you'll need to do the following now you can see here we have a daily Great British Pound USD chart and plotted on that is a daily moving average and what we're ultimately going to do is grab that data and apply it to a 10 minute uh, GBP USD chart as you can see here so you can see the the daily moving averages right here at the top and the way we do that is using ADE so applied to this chart we have applied a, an indicator called tutorial 34 so let's just quickly look at tutorial 34 and here you can see the program now two parts of it will I'm sure be somewhat familiar that is we first of all calculate a moving average which is just average FC open bracket C50 and we plot that we plot the moving average there as well and that's why you see the blue line two parts of this probably not quite so familiar and that is using the map SN dot put and the ADE dot put bar info functions which are part of ADE so you'll see at the top here we have a thing called class and class is the identifier of the metrics that we're storing now in this case we're just storing one metric which is going to be the daily average it would be possible there to store multiple metrics for example you might want to pass information uh, for example um, an AVG or a CCI or an RSI for this same bit of data but just keep it simple we just we just got one metric here so what we do is we put that metric into AVG MAP and what average MAP AVG MAP is is a local data map and then what happens next is we read that data map into using this function ADE put bar info we take that information from the local data map and we pass it into the ADE put bar info using class symbol name bar interval bar ID and there you see the, uh, the info map there it reads that information in once that has been done we can then go to the 10 minute chart in this particular case and I already showed you the daily moving average there to, to grab that information we create another little program and we do the thing in reverse what we do here is we use ade.getBarInfo and these are ADE functions that you'll be able to read about in more detail in the ADE, uh, ADE documentation and what we do is we we grab that information from uh, that's already stored within ADE and then we retrieve the information from the map so in this particular case the 
um, information map is called AVG map and we get the information from AVG map for this particular metric which is daily average and then what we do is we plot that value 2 on the chart and that is why you see the the lines here which represent the the daily moving averages on the chart so now there are a number of other things you can do using ADE some of them fairly complex and uh, what I suggest probably the best way of getting to use it is not to worry about how confusing the syntax may at first appear but just to start using it and write some simple programs such as this one and uh, you'll probably find other things that you want to do and uh, hence you'll develop your skill in using it anyway I hope that's been useful please again if you're not on our email list then please go to markplex.com and uh, be happy to let you know when I create future tutorials